hello, hello. Welcome today to once again another simulator game, but this time it is Taxi Life, a city driving simulator. It has just released, um, and I've just checked the reviews, and it's now mostly negative. But it's a bit, I think it's an expensive game. It's like 25 pounds. You know me on GTA Roleplay, I was uh, a taxi driver for a very long time. Abdul's Taxis. Wow, great, such a cool name, really original. Uh, and it's got to be. It, would be rude for me to not make it green. They can't go lime green, which stinks. I believe this game's set in Barcelona. Um, it's an interesting choice of city to go for, uh, taxis. Welcome to the vibrant city of Barcelona. Where Barcelona. Modernity oh. in a symphony of architectural wonders. From the bustling narrow streets of the Gothic Quarter to the breathtaking landmarks the city has to offer, your journey as a taxi driver begins oh. feel the sea breeze on your face as you cruise along sun-kissed beaches and it, it looks an promising adventure embrace the spirit of barcelona and become the most sought after taxi driver in town but first let's get you a taxi driver's oh, license otra escola. Sí, vamos. hey there welcome to our driving school before you hit the bustling streets of Barcelona to ferry people around, we gotta teach you how to drive first. So let's get started. This is the cabin of your car. You can look around oh and use the buttons that are highlighted. You can open, close windows and use the radio or AC. In the future, you'll be I able see. to interact with the cabin to your heart's content. Right now, turn on the engine by pressing and holding the start button. Very good. The engine oh. is turned on and you see that the dashboard panel is now working. There is lots of interesting information. For example, your speed and fuel level. Red and orange icons inform you that something wrong is happening. Yeah, like any car. car. However, your car is new and ready to go. So for now, you won't have to worry about that. Release the handbrake by pressing the handbrake button. Very good. Now you can drive. I'm putting putting gear though. The speed by pressing the acceleration button and oh. drive to the marker in front of you. You can brake by pressing the brake. Great job. Just keep in <laughs> mind that the game will require you to make numerous precise maneuvers. Your level of control over the car will depend on the type of control device you're using. Mouse and keyboard, it's fine. The I can drive with everything. Been designed to enable you to navigate through narrow streets. Look at how much you can turn the steering wheel. My God. It's worth noting that the steering wheel and the car's wheels turn slowly at the start and then pick up speed as they approach their left or right limit. I'm if joking. you're ready, park the car in the marked space in front of you. Of course, you can change the view by pressing the view button. Oh, say less. Why is, why is it turning rapid? Look at, look at the hands. That's... <laughs> Rapid. Excellent work. You've got the hang of controlling the car. Just a friendly reminder, when driving in the city, it's important to use your turn signals to let other drivers know your intentions. Oh no. Test it. Press the blinker buttons. Great. Let's get back to the cabin view. Impressive. You can also <laughs> use This is really condescending. To make sure that a maneuver you want to make is safe. Test it. Press the quick look buttons. Oh. Excellent. You can also look back and lean forward for a better view. Test it. Press the look back and lean buttons. Additionally, in the cabin, you can use some buttons, but all functions available here are also available directly from your steering device or from the radial menu. Press the radial button to open the radial menu. Now you can navigate through it with the tab change buttons. Awesome. Uh, don't forget to keep an eye on the fuel level oh, and ow. remember that the car is susceptible to damage. Why is so if detailed? If five icons that are linked to the car's endurance start to light up, y'all need to repair the car. These parameters are also shown on the HUD as bars. However, there is also one more. I'm drive a taxi. One parameter. It's a real simulator. Bonus. It has an influence on the passenger's behavior Wait, oh, and what? tips. Wait, no, I didn't. Okay. You know the oh basics. crap, there's parameters I didn't now listen to. you can try the car. If you feel ready for the exam, 
Please park in the marked space. Say less. Drive along the curved line and park in the marked space. Drive slowly and control your position. Try to be in the middle of the line. Don't cross it. Very good. Park in the marked space to start the next step. Let's practice parallel parking. You need to stop the car in the designated point. Here are the steps. Turn the wheels to the metal. Very good. <laughs> Park in the marked space. Bro, I've driven before, you know. Stage. Hey, parking. Let's go. Let's practice perpendicular reverse parking. Oh, maybe not. You need to stop the car in the designated point. Here are the steps. Very nice. Park in the marked space to start the next stage. A mouse was not the best for using, but you know, it works. Let's practice making a U-turn in three moves. Follow these steps. Turn the wheels to the maximum left position and move forward slowly. Remember to stop before the car leaves. I'm literally doing a full on driving lesson. Turn the wheels to the maximum right position and move backwards slowly. On a three point turn. Again. Very good. You passed the first part of the exam. You are ready to take a test drive through Barcelona. Barcelona. Before you hit the city streets, it's important to remember that you must abide by all traffic rules and regulations. By driving in a calm manner, using turn signals and following traffic signs, you'll be rewarded with XP points. However, if you break oh. any traffic rules... Okay, it's actually going to be really in-depth then. I actually control, genuinely have to... Receive a ticket. <laughs> Please remember... Drive properly. ...that the standard speed limit in the city is 50 kilometers an hour. Is that the opposite of crazy taxi? Good luck. What's the, what's the opposite to crazy? Normal taxi. This is the final part of your exam. You'll need to drive your own car in a real city to complete the test. Good luck. To successfully pass this exam, you must pick up a client and safely deliver them to their intended destination. Ooh. Are you ready to begin? Sure. Let's go. Where they Open at? the map by pressing the map button. This is where you can find available Ooh. job. Great job. In the pop-up window which appeared, you can see the Antonio job Nunez, details, including the amount of money you'll receive and the XP reward. Excellent. You've taken your first job. Keep an eye on the orange bar located above the pop-up information window. This is the patience bar, and it Ooh. will gradually decrease over time. The speed at which it decreases will depend on your passenger's temperament and, most importantly, your driving style. Avoid breaking traffic rules, as this may scare the client. Remember, the client won't wait forever, and note that the final destination will not be immediately available. It will only be revealed once the client oh. is in the car. Okay, now you must drive to follow the GPS route you can see on the mini map to the marked point. And okay, park off we go. In the marked space. Right, our first ever real taxi job. I think it's real. You have to follow and abide by traffic laws too. The red light, brake here. Um, oh, it's a European bloody. Oh God, I'll be driving. I'm on the wrong side of the road. Alright, he's indicating, but I want to get over to this side, really. It's green. Polizia! Shit. Police! Go! Hey, police. Well, the police are doing... Ooh, the police car can't drive! Is there a police car? I don't know, it must be. It's got lights. Right, get overtaken, get done. Alright, let them cross over. Alright, there we go. Hey, behind me, I'm scared. That police cars cause the right issue. Shit. Um, it's fine, we'll be a naughty driver. Sorry. Bloody Nora. Hey, I try to drive slowly around here. Right, is that Antonio? He's in. We going? Now you know where to go. Drive to the destination point and remember to control the patient's bar. Occasionally, a client may initiate a conversation, 
and depending on the circumstances, you may choose to engage or disregard them. Keep in mind that participating in the conversation could potentially boost your tips, Ooh. XP points, and even improve your current patience level. Well, give me some uh, conversation then. What? I can't, I can't have you to collect. Collect what? This game would be very. I think this, this game would be very good to do steering wheel. Uh, from all the reviews I'm seeing right now, I think a lot. Of, I think a lot of steering wheel stuff's broken. But this would be a bit of a vibe. I was just like in cabin view, just steering wheel in it. You know, you can't see a map though in this view. Oh, you can. There's a map there. I'm oh, literally be an Uber driver now. Indicate, pull over. Are you going to San Antonio? I'm not even in the car. Very good. You have completed yes. your first job and passed the oh. exam. Congratulations. No As tip you though. See, you've earned your first money and XP points. The money can be used to refuel and clean your car or even buy a new Ooh. one. You can use XP points to develop your character. Ooh. Now let's spend some money. See the gas station? Go there and refuel the car. All right. You have two options for refueling. Partial and to the max. Choose one of them. Oh. I don't have much money to be fair. I've got, got $3,100. You to charge for electric cars and car washes in the way. Okay. Lovely. Thank you. Now it's time to visit the garage. Let's try to garage the map and go there. Okay. Map. Oh, those are jobs though. All right. Engine on. Handbrake off. Uh, okay, we go this way. I have to drive on the Spanish roads. It's fine. I've done this before in my life. It's all good. Driven in Spain before. We're good. Oh god. Are right, we going straight? So indicator off. It's green. Not bad. What view do you like better, the cabin view or this view? I feel like. This is fun, like race, like how I like playing racing games, but this one feels quite immersive. Here we go. What kind of rules are you following on the roads? Where do you learn to drive? Oh my god! Jesus! Can I honk my horn. Bloody hell! Step out like that, out of nowhere. Oh, I'm speeding again. There's a question mark over there. What does that mean? I right, indicate and pull into the garage. Oh, wait, the traffic light's not working properly in front of you. This is like real life things, real life issues that go wrong. All right, garage. Welcome to the garage where you can sell. This is where you can search a vehicle, purchase and sell cars or components and personalize and enhance your ride. Here you can repair the whole car, but it's not damaged. Keep in mind that you can also fix individual parts as needed. You can also refuel it, charge it, and clean it here. Well, the car's in tip top Aru condition, but obviously customized. Uh, oh, outside. Car body color. You know, I've got to do it. To, uh, the game knew it was. The, oh my god. To be fair, it was that. It's there, made for me. It, it knew. How does one give? How does one? Yes. How does one pay? I want yes. Add chassis illumination to your car. And neons on my car. Fifty dollars. Say less. Uh, get a little woofer on the dashboard. <laughs> oh, it's quite cute. It's cool. They got in depth. They have gone really in depth for this game. To be fair, then, maybe need some polishing. Oh God, wait, what happened? I like the what I will say. The city does feel quite alive and like there's hustle and bustle to it. So it is. It does seem pretty decent. And I guess that like, Barcelona is easy because it is just yeah, it's just squares, right? The whole the whole Barcelona is just it's just squares. And you get some customers. Come on, let's let's get going. So I need to. I want to see this street piece of street art. Get some experience points. I need to pick up some people. Level up. Ooh, collect it. Sorry, just collecting the street art. Right, uh, M. So we got a customer up there. 419 euros! Mark Kadena. This one is 399. It's easy. I'll take the easy option. Hey, you got. What are you lot doing? You, I'm in the cycle lane. Quick! Move! Hello, taxi! Can I change my plate? 
Hey, you alright? How do I engage a conversation? I didn't indicate. Oh, bad. How long is this journey? How much? I think I get like $300 for this. Street art there. Can I collect that? No. Is there a bar slider? Everyone speaks English. Hola, come to Yamas. Oh, God. One versus a couple of Yanos. Why do you ask that? Why did I actually ever ask you that? It'd be well weird, wouldn't it? What's your birthday? Oh, you're green. We're good. Just finish back into usual. Oh, my God. These AI is just break out of nowhere. No! Don't why are you stepping out! I want you to drive me to the new place. You change where you want to go. What are you, what? Are, what are you doing? Who teaches you? Who taught these to drive? I say I'm killing this so far. No police chase yet. <laughs> Making money. The, the the customer seems pretty happy with my driving. God knows what you're trying to do. Yeah, get in the right lane, my friend, mate. All right, right. We're reverse lights on, and I'm indicating. Can you go on. Don't go past me. The impatient little bugger. Curved it a little bit here. Um. Bye. Bye. Adios. Hasta luego. Easy. You got nice about hundred. We we got we got seventy six dollar tip. We made we made eight hundred and thirty dollars or euros. Mate, I'm an Uber driver. Fly me out to Barcelona. Right, that, the nearest task was quite long, wasn't it? Um, I want to go to the street art and we'll get this person, Roberto. Oh, there. You have to click on them to actually make it work. Hey! Bonjour. Hello. Well, I, said, I said bonjour. Go the wrong country, mate. He wants to go a kilometre that direction. I wonder, like, do you crazy taxi it or like do you just drive legit? Kind of enjoying the just driving legit, to be honest. Like I'm playing the game, how I'm supposed to be playing the game. A little bit of London driving in there as well, you know? Slightly aggressive overtakes and stuff. Is 70 over here or is it 50? I'm not seeing any speed things anywhere. 35 is okay, you know, we're just slightly over it. Not too bad, though. I'm indicating I'm going to pull over. That's behind me. So, you know. Take care. Farewell. Hasta luego. Alberto Diaz, our next, is our nearest task. I don't care about the nearest task. I want to see what the trophy one is. Oh, my God. Look at, look at the one-way system. Look how far I've got to go just to get to you. What a relaxing vibe. We're just chilling. Just, you know, being a taxi driver. Being a legit taxi driver. Right, it's green, guys. It's green, guys. Come on. It's green. Hello. I've got to go. What are you doing? Oh, look, uh, like, there's, there's things that I will do and things I won't do. I won't do that. Easy money, mate. <laughs> easy, easy money. So these are all interesting pieces of architecture you can go visit as well. So you basically, you get experience points for just going around Barcelona. Uh, looking at cool stuff. That's, that that changes the flow of traffic and stuff. So you want to try to avoid accidents. Oh, and the chat that that trophy is a challenge. I haven't stopped behind this police officer. He's like he's like the worst driver. The police are the worst drivers in this game so far. Yep, there you go. There's the triumphal, the triumphal arch of Barcelona. We collect that nice bit of architecture collected. 100 XP. Are you? How slow do you want to go? The police are like, they're, they're baiting you to try and go speed past them. Right, 70 miles an hour. Let's get this show on the road. I've got a clan to pick up. We have the police officers. The speed cameras, which is up here, right? Police officer ahead of me as well. I can see you. I'm pushing my limits. So I just want to push my luck until we get caught. So I just want to see what happens. I've got a challenge to complete as well. I'm kind of curious what the challenge is. Police again. Moving and moving and moving. I'm in a hurry. You'll get a big tip when you get to our destination quickly. Just don't kill us. All right.
you're in a hurry, say less. I can do that. I won't kill you. Slight accident, it's fine. Just a little scratch. Nothing but a scratch. We've got to get you there on time. You're going to thank me? We get a tip? $300 tip. I've probably got four stars though, even though I just like came through and no touch for her. Right, this is the Santa Catalina market. Easy XP secured. Keep it going. Your driving style increased your XP level. What? I got, I got rewarded for driving like that? Big trunk. This customer's got a big trunk. Wait, oh, you, you actually know. So you need a car that has requirements that has a big trunk. So I need to get some more peas. Uh, uh, no, Angela Costa's there. Oh, screw it, we can break the law. I'm untouchable there. Who's this new taxi driver in Barcelona who gets us around so quickly? And get caught by the police. Avoid speed cameras, everything. No one can stop him. Please tell him it's all right. Not police. We're good. Indicate. Slow down, you maniac! Oh, sure, I'll get you there fast. Oh, speed ticket. Crap. Now that you're done. That's all I'll just fault. get out here, thanks. No tip. Two star. Is that, is that my rating they're giving me? Guys, I'm, I'm, I need to come this way. My drive. He wants to go down here. Excuse me. Shit. Cars, here we go. Let's see what other cars you can buy. If you have a car, check its parent parameters and buy it if you have enough money. So I have this car currently, the Aphelion, um, but I can upgrade to the SMC, which is an electric vehicle, but like a Mini Cooper Clubman, a uh, countryman. You can get the uh, Sedna, a sedan car basically. You can get the Parallax, which is a Tesla. Uh, wait, an Aphelion is what? Up here. Oh, I get a Halicon. I can get a V Class. And you can get yourself, oh, the Rhea. 24 grand, and you get yourself a Mercedes. Get an S Class. Uh, and the parts. Can I get like engine? You can get a premium engine. Brakes. You can get ventilated brake discs. You can get yourself performance tires. You get better brakes. Basically, it though. Gearbox. I have manual? No, no, we keep it automatic for now. Just because it's easy. Uh, inside. Can I get a dashboard redecoration yet? What do I actually want? I want uh, the dragon. Discovery monuments and points of interest gives more experience. Cash progress is more faster. That's really a smart thing to do, just go out and collect this stuff. Driver has less money. Wait, I, I can hire drivers. Not yet, by the looks of it. It's grayed out. Driving, yeah, I want to get that. So I'm gonna go out and get more points. Wait, I got more points to do. Law obedience, then surely. General archive of the Crown of Aragon secured. More XP. Keep leveling up. There's a client right here, which is easy. Trust secure. Get on the map. Accept. Hugo Pena. Where are you, where are you trying to go, Hugo? And no one's even tried to engage a conversation yet, anyway, either. Oh, they're all haters. They do, get, they do get a bit upset about my driving, though. Look, if I start that breaking laws, I do earn... Oh, my God, please. I do earn less money. Wait, I didn't get a ticket that time because I, I... Oh, my God. I actually got away with it because of my perk that I've unlocked. So I get one ticket per day that I can get away with. Oh, my God, they're impatient. They don't like that much speed in it. They, they don't mind 70. When I got to, like, 100 and stuff, they hated that. Getting you there faster. They're not like that. I mean, they want me to drive. I guess they, they didn't want me to drive the jet. It is a taxi driver simulator. It's not crazy taxi. I was enjoying just driving like an idiot at the same time. I, I enjoyed both. Ooh, I level up. No, nearly. Twenty-three dollars tip. Free start. That's not bad. Let's just do the Shelley task. It tells us where it is. Where is Shelly? Oh, wow. Why, why have I got a park like this for Shelly?
Hi there. You alright? Where are you trying to go? You're trying to go. You're already upset? I had to come off the curb just to drive. You can drive normally for you if you want. How far are you trying to go? Don't get impatient. I'm just doing some good driving for you. I'm getting you to a destination nice and quickly. Cinema Coliseum. Ooh. Level 5 secured, which means if I go tab, no, not tab, I go, if I handbrake first, I go M. Uh, driver. Completing jobs gives you more experience, your character progresses faster. Is it? Oh my god, see this VIP exclusive jobs come available. What other stuff is there in there? We need to get some passive income. We need the company to open. When does the company open? Roundabout has Monument to the Book and Monumental Fountain of Paseo de Garcia. Oh. I'd like a ticket. Yeah, but you put your sirens on, then what? You're gonna chase me? Lazy. Well, I thought they was gonna chase me then. I'm actually about to get really excited. I was gonna try, I was gonna try my driving skills. So all these, uh, wait, hang on, wait. I can't them out. There's not cursor, there we go. Uh, all these ones I can't actually take because I need a big trunk, I need a different car. Okay, if I get these two bits of, uh, these two POIs here, these two landmarks, I should rank up. And that one. And then this one. Oh God, oh God, let's not have a crash here. One. Oh, lovely. Driver. So do you think like to unlock management you have to be a certain level or do you think it just isn't in the game yet? It's a, the game's fully out though, so I feel like it you need to earn more money or buy more cars. Right, well, I think I'm gonna leave it there for today's lovely taxi driving. Uh that was a lovely 24 hours of me being an Uber driver. Um, if you want to see more of this game, then by all means let me know because there are there was, we can try and get ourselves uh, into the management section, try and hire some drivers for us, get some passive income going. We can try and get ourselves some more money to get a new car, um, or we can wait until the game is fixed up a little bit more. And we can get the steering wheel out and try and drive it normally with a steering wheel. It'd be quite fun. But yeah, let me know. Other than that, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.